Hi guys, Nicole Herrick here with you. A lot of people have been asking me lately, how do I assign collections to different pages? So you can see here that I've got a, a shop with a few different sub pages in it. Um, and I'm on the necklaces page. So to choose the collection to show up just the necklace images, all I need to do is make sure that I'm clicked on the element so that this pops up and go to settings and shows change collection. So if I change that to the bracelets collection that I've created, you can see that just the bracelets will show up. If I do all products, all of the products will show up. You can see it extends. But yeah, so that's how you do that. Um, so now a lot of people though, um, they don't already have these sub pages set up. So let me take you through that. Okay, so I'm just gonna take this back to um, where we were before we actually had all of these pages. So I'm just gonna delete these pages. Back with you in a sec. Okay, so here I am with just a single shop page and this has Automatically, when you put the shop app into your Wix website, it'll bring it up with the all products um, collection, which is sort of automatically created. So now we want to be able to copy this page and create a new one, but because it's store page, it doesn't allow us to actually duplicate the page. So what we need to do is just add a new page and just a blank page. Okay, and we'll call this one earrings. Okay, and I'm going to put this as a sub page below shop. So now what we're going to do is grab the elements of here. So I'm going to grab the header and that little um, underline. So I'm going to click copy, go down here, click on the page, click paste. There we go. And then I also want to add a shop gallery. So I'm going to add store elements and add a product grid gallery. Okay, and I have other videos on how to actually change the design of this. But so basically that's now looking pretty much the same as this one. Okay, so now what we're going to do is go to our earrings page and we're going to change the heading to earrings. And we want to click on this gallery element and go to settings and choose our earrings collection. And voila, there is just my earrings on that. So now from this page, I can actually, actually duplicate it. So if I go down over to here and go duplicate, it will give me another one and I can call this necklaces. Okay, it will look exactly the same, but so I just go necklaces and click on the element settings, assign the collection as necklaces. Beautiful. Okay, so let me go to preview. And if I go to shop, I can click on the shop up here and that will take me to shop all. You can also click on earrings and that will take me to the earrings, necklaces, and that takes me to the necklaces. Now I have one small little tip. If you want this to be a non-clickable sort of header, so if you want it to be shop, but then you want to also have sort of a shop online within the drop down. The way that I do that is I add in a menu header page. Okay, so let's call this um, I'm just going to put an X there so I don't confuse myself. So this is going to be our main one. And I'm going to put my earrings under there, my necklaces under there, and I'm also going to put my shop under here, but I'm going to now call this one Shop All. Okay, and then I can change this one back to just Shop. Okay, so now, oh actually, if I make that lowercase okay um so now let's go to preview again and if i go here so i've got my shop but this is not clickable anymore and that's just um 
a bit more helpful for when people are, you know, clicking through that they might actually miss clicking on this to see the shop all. So that's why I like to make sure that the shop all is just a subcategory so it's a bit easier. Guys, I hope that was helpful. If you would uh, like to see any more Wix tutorials, be sure to check out my channel. And if you have questions and want me to do a shoot for you, just hit me up in the comments below. Thanks.